Hi everyone, we are group B29 and the following video explains the concept of geometric sequences and their sums. Understanding this sequence is necessary for any computer programmer to build better code and notice patterns more efficiently. What is a sequence? First, a sequence is defined as a discrete structure used to represent an ordered list and is denoted by using curled brackets. For example, the following are considered sequences. As you can see, sequences have a definitive set of numbers, known as a finite sequence, or they can have an infinite series of terms, noted by an ellipsis, like in the second example. Sequence terms can be made of random terms, like in the third example, or they can have a pattern. One of the common patterns has been given a name. It's called the geometric sequence. Geometric sequences have the general structure of a n equals a r to the n minus 1, where a n is a term of the sequence, n is the last term, and r is the common ratio. The common factor r can be found by dividing the second term of the sequence by the first. This common factor between each term is the defining note of a geometric sequence. Geometric sequences have the following characteristics. They depend on the value of the common ratio r. And then following that, if the common ratio r is positive, the terms of the sequence will be the same sign as the initial term. If r is negative, the terms will alternate between positive and negative. If r is greater than 1, the terms will grow exponentially positively. If r is less than 1, the terms will grow exponentially negatively. And if r equals 1, then the progression is constant. What are the uses of sequences? One operation of a sequence is to add the sequence of numbers and report the total, known as a summation. A summation is expressed with sigma. Then we have k, which expresses the lower limit of the summation. And it ends at the upper limit n. To the right of the summation is the pattern of the sequence's terms, which is denoted as x sub a sub k, sorry. There is a special equation which gives the summation of a geometric sequence. Um, summation is expressed as this. The closed form, or the formula on the right, is commonly used when the summation is for a large sequence that would be too difficult and time consuming to add every term of the sequence. Although the summation of the geometric sequence looks different than the sequence form, they are related because the sequence is defined by the common factor r. All right, now we will start with our first example. Suppose we are given the sequence bn with bn equals 6 times 1 third to the n. How do we know it is a geometric progression? One way is to write out the first few terms of the sequence. So if we were to start with n equals 0, the sequence bn would be 6, 2, 2 thirds, 2 ninths, 2 twenty sevenths, and so on. A geometric series would have a common ratio between each consecutive term. As we can see from the series, the first and second terms have a common ratio of one third, and the following consecutive two terms have the same common ratio as well. So we can conclude that this is, in fact, a geometric sequence. To find the sum of the sequence, we can apply the formula that we introduced earlier, which is the summation from k equals 0 to n of a r k equals a times 
r to the n plus 1 minus 1 over r minus 1, where r does not equal 1. The first term in the sequence is 6, so our a equals 6, and we have a common ratio of 1 third. So to compute the expression, we simply fill in the numbers we got for the variables. And our total is 8.9877. So if we want to compute the infinite series of Bn, we have to use a different formula, which is the summation from k equals 0 to infinity. And that equals a over 1 minus r. So we get 6 over 1 minus 1 third, which equals 9. From the answers to both summations, we know that the sequence converges to 9 and very quickly. And for another example, we will compute the following expression. We have j equals 0 to 8 of 2 times negative 3 to the j. So first we have to make sure that it is in fact a geometric progression in order to apply the right formula. So looking at the sequence, writing out a few terms, we get 2 negative 6, 18, and negative 54. So we see that a equals 2 and r equals negative 3. So now we can use the formula to compute the summation. So we get 2 times negative 3 to the 9 minus 1 over negative 3 minus 1 and we get 9,842. And for our last example, we're going to compute yet another expression. We have the summation from j equals 0 to 8 of 2 times 3 to the j plus 3 times 2 to the j. Since we know that the geometric sequence would normally have the same pattern of the expression summation from k equals 0 to n of a r to the k, we see that this has the same form as that, so we can straight away jump to the formula to calculate its sum. With summations, you can separate addition and subtraction. So we're going to have two different sums now summation from j equals 0 to 8, 2 times 3 to the j, plus the summation of j equals 0 to 8 of 3 times 2 to the j. So we just write out the two separate formulas and add them together. So we have 2 times 3 to the 9th minus 1 over 3 minus 1, plus 3 times 2 to the 9th minus 1 over 2 minus 1, and we get 21,215. As you can see, geometric summations can be a powerful tool to use for data solutions and organization in computer science.